Since it's pouring rain out, maybe I can start working on these gears. I was thinking about either a 12 foot, a 12 tooth or a 16 tooth. 16 tooth I think will be better because more teeth will be in contact at any time and I can make, now that I have a milling machine, you know, I should be able to make this pretty good. And then the other gear is going to be eight times the size of this one. So 16 teeth, the other one will be 128 teeth. Man, that's a lot of teeth. And 24 centimeters across at the middle of the teeth. So that means it's going to have to be a 25 and a half centimeter gear. Well, that's a big gear. Oh, this better be a good boat because I'm committing a big chunk of this stuff to it. This used to be a tabletop I got in the garbage. I've already used one of these. Oh, tell me I've got something in here with centimeters on it. Can't do this in inches. know what I'm doing here. I like to do this stuff without other people around because when other people are around they start asking questions like how are you gonna get the bevel the right angle? How are you gonna get the tooth shape? What are you gonna do for this and that? And I'm like dude all I'm doing right now is I need a circle. That's what step I'm on. Step next is is for the future. I have to figure that out one later. Right now I just need a circle. I know I need a circle and I don't know how to do that. So what's the next thing I need to do? Okay not yet turned this thing on and I don't know how half of it works. Oh great, first thing I'm doing and I max out the size of the lathe. Well, if I trim this a little bit, it'll fit in there. I made this a tiny bit bigger than it needed to be. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Sure, that's not the recommended way to do that. Oh, 25 and a half. Well, looks pretty good. Now, all I need to do is cut 128 teeth into this thing. Wow. Or I could just make the little gear blank first. I made that on my little lathe because I'm having some difficulty getting this guy started. Uh, first guess is a starter capacitor I need to replace in there. Once I get it running, it runs fine. It's just the starting. I have to try it like 10 or 15 or 20 times before I get it to go. super fancy gear angle thingy. 
So I'm just measuring where the teeth go by hand. I have a bolt in the middle here with half the head cut off. So if I put this up against it, my ruler goes right down the middle. Hundred and twenty eight lines. Sixteen. Yes, now I need to actually cut those teeth. That means I need a fancy tooth cutter thing. I'm making the cutter out of a piece of aluminum aluminium to make it easy on myself. I've just got it rounded, not all the way, but good enough. Now I need to figure out how to kind of curves I want to cut into there to make the teeth. This is a key as in keyed shafting and I've attempted to carve what I think the end of a gear tooth looks like. And I'm hoping this is hard enough to carve this aluminum. It should be. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it, doing it by eyeball. A little bit of etch-a-sketch skills going on here. Turns out my little cutter there is too small, because when I try to fit this in there, it hits up here. Which is kind of a good thing, because now I just need to make another one of those, which I already did. A wider one that'll stick out farther, so that thing will be clear. And it's good because really this gear and this gear should have different shaped teeth anyway. These ones should be like wider V and these ones should be more straight down. So that's what I did with those. They're a little bit different. Alright, now I need to cut grooves, V's out of these to actually give them teeth. Pretty good. Wow, that looks good. What do you have a letter for me? Yeah. Wow, cool. From Funny Lane. Who's Funny Lane? It's Two. a town in Dollland. Oh, okay. Everything is funny in it. To James. <laughs> what? Why do I have a funny look? At, I have a funny looking head. <laughs> You're a donkey head? What? <laughs> and this is me, that means it's you saying, Jamie, you are a donkey head? No, I'm asking you, see? Oh, Jamie, are you a donkey head? Sorry. <laughs> And I'm saying I'm a donkey head. And now down here it says your name is Duckfoot. So I'm I'm Duckfoot the donkey head. Yes. You are gonna get such a such a letter get when here. I get out of here. I like your pictures. Why is You spelled wrong? your wrong. I did. Yeah, it's Y O U apostrophe R E because it's a different your. I'll, I'll tell you. All right, hopefully donkey heads, things here work.
clean that up. It should work. And don't break, don't break, don't break. Ah, beauty. This is a big enough radius that these lines are close to parallel, but they're not. So when I cut the teeth, I have to do two cuts on each teeth to get a bit of a V. So let me see, the, the top edge of the tooth that I'm going to cut needs to aim directly toward the center of the thing, right? Yeah. So I need to put the top edge of the cutter here lined up right with the middle of the blade then come back and cut a tooth, and then do all 128, then move this up so the bottom edge is aiming at the center, and then do the bottom edges. And I'll have to make sure I get the spacing right when I do the second pass, but let me just get through one pass first. All right, top edges of the teeth, or the bottom edge. I'm cutting at the top anyway. And I think I got that lined up. So the top edge is in the center. I'm locking that and locking that so nothing can go up and down anymore. All right, let's check that that's lined up right. It looks good. It should cut a slightly deeper channel on this end than the other end, but a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, man. I think I'm almost ready to try a tooth. All right, now how deep do the teeth go? about that far. Alright, I got this lined up right on one of these lines. I got my nut tightened. That doesn't turn. Oh, alright, I think I can do one. Switch this to high gear, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to do low gear first. Do the first one really slow. I'm going to go backwards in the rotation right here. Deburr it a little bit. I think I'm ready to go through them a little faster. I think I might want to do it a little deeper than that, though. Right, I'll know if I'm leaving myself enough space in a minute.
enough space, the tooth needs to be fatter than the slot. So when I cut the bottom edges of these, it'll shrink the tooth down to equal the slots. And it does look like the tooth is a little bigger than the slots right now. So I think I'm good. Just need to do this 128 times. And then do the bottom edges 128 times. Wow, that's a lot of cuts. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've never had this kind of precision for, before. Just a way to like get one of those tables or make a, a thing that I can control the rotation. Oh, and then those would be perfect. Oh, I totally want to finish this right now. I need to go check my fish trap. There might be some fish in there right now. And I should go to the farm and do some, I don't know, some planting of some food and some weeding and check on everything. Yeah, I got to do some other stuff. I'll just leave that set up right there.